God bless and keep you today as we gather together for fellowship, for prayer, and to encourage one another in God's word. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day and we thank you for your word. And we thank you for the many ministers you've given us to your word. As they teach us, as we learn from them, as we seek to be a blessing in the way that we follow them, but also, Lord, in the lessons that we pass on that we've been given from others who have taught us, the lessons we have learned in ourselves that through our fellowship, Lord, we give into the whole ministry among all your people. Lord, help those who seek to stand in authority over us, that if they are meant to be in that position, Lord, that they will hold that authority and wisdom and guide us in truth and knowledge. And Lord, we pray for those who assume authority and aren't prepared for it and struggle with it. Lord, we ask that you will guide them unto another kind of truth, a truth in humility, that the service they give will honor you and not just them. And Lord, we pray for those who always feel led around, dominated, and whose gifts are never let to shine. Lord, open our hearts and our minds to hear from them and respect them, that we might, together with them, glorify you in all we say and do. This in Christ we pray. Amen. And we turn today to Psalm 90. In Psalm 90, we're going to read at verse 3. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men. It's a reality for all of us that we confront our limitations. More than that, not just confront our limitations, but recognizing that things have an end. I'm here on my little forest path, and last year as I made it, there was this beautiful cherry tree that came up in the midst of it. But through the weight of the winter, the base of it cracked, and it came down to, to cover the path. And while I loved the blooms of that tree and all that it uh, gave into the, 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 the view and the coverage in this little forest path, this was actually a nice little place to sneak off to if there was a quick little rain going by, it had to be cut down. One of the reality checks for all of us is the limitation we have in life, the, the mortal reality. But it's all, it also teaches us to seek out that which is precious. And in that precious gift that we are given to, to cherish life, to use that time sacredly, and, and to learn while we can to not put things off, not procrastinate, especially when it comes to the lessons of faith. It is a gift that we not only receive for ourselves, but we're meant to share and remind and be a reminder for one another that we stand before each other in the witness of life and its greatness and its beauty, but also in its struggle. And your times of trouble, even though they are a struggle for you, are a reminder also for others. That is, you have to endure, be patient, and become a sign of grace for others. That even as you face the limitations of life and you struggle, you give others hope and determination. We're not alone in our times of trouble. And while we may face this kind of destruction, and the tearing down of what we think life is all about. God is offering to make life about even more than we can imagine. And that in knowing that, we can honor and serve God with joy and with celebration. May God bless and keep you this day. Amen. <laughs>